Next question from NEET 2015 in oscillation chapter. See the question. When two displacements represent by y1 is equal to a sin omega t and y2 equal to b cos omega t are superimposed with the motion. So the motion is as well. So here the term two waves is given by the displacement. So it will be uh, the two waves uh, superimposed each other. Okay, so now they are asking um, there is some relationship between that and the Okay, see that uh, the first displacement that is y1, so it's amplitude a, then second displacement y3 is amplitude b. Okay, so that combination is asking, okay, in the form of simple harmonic motion, this amplitude value, net amplitude value as Okay, so well, if you want to compare with the superimposed, I mean, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, superimposing means. So we should know the case difference. Okay, so then only we can apply it, the further apply it. So first you should find the phase difference. So how to find the phase difference? First you give it value, right? So so first uh, that y1, first displacement y1 is equal to that is a a sin omega t. Like that, uh, at the second, that is y2 is equal to that is b cos omega t. Okay. So now we have to write in that other form. This is b into sin of omega t plus phi by 2. Okay. So we can write sin of theta plus phi by 2 that is equal to cos theta. Okay. So now you can compare that the first displacement and the second displacement. This is phi by 2 is extra. So 90 degree is extra. That is a phase difference. Okay. That means it's right angle to each other. So 90 degree phase difference. So now we know the phase difference value that is 90 degree. Just I simply take it as there is a phi is equal to 90 degree. Okay. So now this combination that means you are going to find the resultant amplitude. Okay, so now uh, the resultant amplitude we can write as um, so one thing. For example, I trace one thing the amplitude here. It is uh, it is the, the first displacement amplitude here and the second displacement amplitude is here. So this resultant value is here. So simply I can, I can write as uh, capital A. Okay, this is the resultant amplitude and the equivalent amplitude. Okay, so now I can write the equivalent amplitude. Uh, resultant amplitude is equal to so you know it is like a linear converge okay so this is known a square a square plus b square plus 2ab 2ab cos phi okay so we uh, you remember that this is the resultant value okay so therefore the net this uh, amplitude is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos 90 degree. So phase difference you know here, just you compare here and here, so the 90 degree phase difference. So cos 90 you know that is a zero value. Okay, so this entire thing will be become zero. So I can write remaining. So that the resultant amplitude is equal to whole root of a squared plus b squared. So this is the answer. Okay, so this option is matched with so option B. Okay, thank you.